these spirit boosters i'm just doing this quickly gonna be added on to something else in the video my haul video but i have to do this because i'm getting ready to rip this stuff open and put it away my husband was back in food for less and he's checking it out he said the shelves were empty and now i don't know how food for less doing it like i always tell y'all but they got some stuff they about to put back on the shelf but anyway they don't have any fresh chicken wings so my husband got these chicken legs on sale 89 cents a pound they're nice and tiny got two packs three dollars and some each three dollars and some change look how small and fresh them chicken legs look they tiny just right we're gonna fry some chicken today have fish tomorrow today is friday happy friday all you guys have a great weekend welcome any new new spirit boosters welcome to all my og spirit boosters don't forget to leave your going zones and what's happening in the comment section we also got some he got me some uh crescent croissants crescent rolls we're gonna have with the fried chicken and save some for tomorrow and also finally they got some fresh turkey necks and some fresh turkey tails thank you jesus i'm about to uh separate this meat and put it in the freezer so this is just a piece of the video stay tuned for the rest of this haul y'all have a great weekend and don't forget to holler in them comments and he still said those turkeys i don't know why i'm rushing because i can complete this thought in the next part of the video but he still said there's 35 dollar turkeys in that store foofaless ain't playing hey spirit boosters how you guys doing hope everybody doing well and also i would like to welcome any new spirit boosters you are spirit boosters when you come over here let me get this light out the way jeez hold up y'all hold up Terrible. Anyway, I'm sure. No, that's not good. Well, dang, I didn't know all. Hold on, y'all. I can't stay all, stand all this glitch. All right, guys. I think this is a little bit better. I think it's different when I do it in the daytime than in the evening because the light is really bright. Which you do need lots of light. I see. I know you guys can see what you see. <laughs> on the video okay i was saying welcome back to all my spirit boosters welcome any new spirit boosters welcome to the community where you share your goings ons and what's happening <laughs> yes you do because over here we need to help keep each other informed and reminding reminded about stuff you know i forgot what i was saying y'all <laughs> we need to keep each other informed and reminded about stuff going on while you're in the community specifically we talking about what's going on in your area during the supply chains issues gas prices soaring grocery prices soaring Deliveries, deliveries are slowed down. Turkeys in my food for less are still thirty-five dollars. <laughs> and the uh, subscriber, the spirit booster I was talking about, his channel where I told you guys he found thirty-nine cents a pound turkeys at Winn Dixie. I believe he said the store was called. His channel is called Tom's Backyard chats tom's backyard chats i believe that's what it is 39 cents a pound turkey i have never heard of a turkey that doggone cheap they might as well have given it to him <laughs> you ask me is that dang cheap here take this turkey sir and happy thanksgiving that would have been a great thing to do but anyway what you guys looking up here you probably can't see because of the glare and the light but i have some containers with products sitting in there now the cookie the cookie um gingerbread cookie mix is up there because i want to share i ordered me a gingerbread cookie cutter because i didn't have one y'all see that gingerbread cookie cutter 
I got that from uh, Amazon. Sure did. It's a baby one, a mama one, and a big old papa one. <laughs> and that's what I'll be using to make these gingerbread cookies. A few of them. And my daughter, she went to go see if she could give me some more. And the day she went and got me these little cookies, I had told her to give me 10 packs. And my baby just brought me four. And I told her to go back the next day. And when she did, all she brought me back was this. Sugar cookies and funfetti. Now, there's nothing wrong with sugar cookies and funfetti. Because, you know, Christmas, you make a lot of cookies for Christmas. And these are just fit in perfect. But they didn't have any more gingerbread cookies. Because why? Because people bought them all. <laughs> That's what happens when you advertise what's going on and where you can get them from. People will go out and, you know, stock up, which they should. So if she does, if she's able to find me some somewhere else, I would appreciate it. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, y'all probably think, well, why you don't go out and look? Well, anyway, if y'all want to know, some of y'all might not know because... I'm getting my legs together. They're much, much better because I've been staying off of them no more than coming in here. I've just set up, y'all. That's why I got close. No more than coming here and doing what I need to do around here. But other than that, I'm doing much better. So much better. I think my daughter asked me, do I want to go to the trail? And I was so excited. <laughs> I said, heck yeah, I want to go to the trail. Oh my God, babe soon soon then i guess i would get out to the uh dollar tree and see what's happening with them but anyway let me share with you tell you guys what's going on i don't know if you can really see these plastic containers but i had the arizona sitting up here because what i'm doing is trying to organize my refrigerator and these are the party ones like people do their pantries they got the party stuff so I got the party plastic containers to put in the refrigerator. And I think I can fit three of them in a row. These are stackable. I got this from um, Amazon too. This one down here in the front is just some lemons and a couple of bell peppers. Just, you know, showing for a demonstration. But anyway, I have, if any of you guys know what size the Arizona bottles are, it's six of those in one of them. And then, you know, the little tiny little um sunny delights for them it's four of them could uh, fit and then i have the ocean spray crayon four of those could fit so that's a smaller bottle then i have like about six waters crystal geyser in that one and one of them and then over here on this side i have some welch's grape drink and only three of the wrestlers can fit and a couple of um jumex I don't know where my other ones are. They're around here somewhere. But when I get ready, I am going to organize the refrigerator. I'm going to show you guys what that disgusting, dirty refrigerator is looking like now. And I ain't going to trick you this time. I ain't going <laughs> to before and after. I'm not going to trick y'all. It might take me a minute to, you know, situate the refrigerator. I might not come back the next day and share with you. Oh, look, I've completed the job. The mission is completed. No, it's not happening the next day. When I finish doing it, then I'll come back and share that video with you. But this, this evening, I'm just sharing with you guys these little plastic containers. You probably can see it better in, with the fruits, with the little fruits in here in the bell pepper. That's how low it is. Let me see. It's about 12, to 12 inches long and five inches wide something like that or 10 10 by 5 or something like that i didn't measure it i could but if i'll measure it and then i'll put it in the description box yeah so it's six of them i got it from amazon and if it fits the way i wanted to i might need at least three more of these things but i don't know i'll see because mostly gonna be drinks but when we do have leftovers my um, fabulous Rubbermaid storage containers, I'll use those because they're a um, nice size. It's, I've got a lot, I have a lot of different um, size containers. So, yeah, everything should work out fine because I got to declutter inside the refrigerator. It's a lot of stuff in there I, don't, I should get rid of. And uh, shout out to Linda's Prepper Kitchen, I believe that's 
Linda, excuse me, Linda, if I'm not familiar right now, but I know I just left your channel. It's just so weird when my amnesia when my amnesia kicks in. I think it's okay. Hold up. Anyway, what I'm trying to say about Linda anyway. What am I trying? Oh, she did a demonstration on how to um prep and dehydrate some celery. Wonderful video. Really wonderful video. I loved it. She blanched the celery and then she put it on her fantastic dehydrator and it dried the heck out of that celery and she filled the jar up. I love it. And she has some dried tomato. Ooh, that to dried tomatoes are so good when you crush them up. You got the machine, a blender, Vitamix or something powerful to crush them, make it powder. Oh, see, oh, that tomato stuff seasons foods up so well that freshly dehydrated, you can't say it's fresh no more, but it's um just pure tomato powder and it's a great seasoning in practically any dish you want to make <laughs> it's delicious but anyway thank you for that great video linda and she's having a contest too if anybody uh interested she has three thirty dollar gift cards you have to go over there on her channel and say enter me and you have to subscribe but anyway, that's my advertising for today. <laughs> Let's get back to regular programming. Let me see. What do I have up here going on? Did I tell y'all everything? Oh, what I got to share? Something I'm supposed to tell y'all. Y'all already know about the Trader Joe. They really advertising that saying. Uh, um, well, it's an advertisement on my search engine. It's saying that they pulling the, the uh, those chicken patties. If y'all got that in your refrigerator, y'all need to dump that. Or if you know how to chew bones, then carry on. <laughs> oh, because it's full of bone fragments. And uh, what was I supposed to be telling y'all something? I can't forget. I can't remember. Damn. I, I told myself I'm supposed to be writing stuff down, but that's not organic. I got to be organic on here. Whatever. Well, most of the time, I do read articles and I see what's going on. And, um, well, how y'all like my little cookie cutter gingerbread man? I think it's fabulous. I can't wait to do my little thing. And thanks, Ross. It's Ross for sharing how you prep and how those cookies taste. Um, what else? I got something to tell y'all, but I can't remember what it is. I think it's very important. <laughs> But anyway, I don't know. It's been a long day. Like I say, I've been doing stuff around here, trying to straighten up, declutter, organize, get things ready, keep making videos, because making videos, it's all right, but especially if you know how to edit, and that's extra work. Like, I don't have those great editing skills, so I'm just recording saying what i gotta say and if i got a little trailer i'll put that on but people you know how some people have fabulous thumbnails and and they uh sharing little things come in and and um are splattered over the screen all that fabulousness i don't know how to do that yet i have i purchased a editing thing but my son just asked me the other day are you how you doing i said i'm not because I am intimidated because I he showed me a few things but still I need to be practicing I need to be reading my books I need to be crocheting I need to be looming I need to watch I need to um, be a plant mama because my babies out there on the balcony are suffering they probably out there screaming when is your ass coming to take care of us I'm all dried up oh god I'm so sorry plants my little uh, what I got out there um, my parsley is it parsley not parsley my basil my basil going to seed my basil plant is growing flowers and I need to cut those off because I'm trying to get the plant bushy I was always good at growing basil I was doing for my husband threw them all the way calling them weeds 
I had chives, celery. I had a whole bunch of stuff. My husband threw my stuff in the trash, thinking it's weeds. I was so upset. I was so upset I couldn't even be upset because it was too upset to be. If that makes sense. I had to not, I couldn't be upset. It was awful. But anyway, I had to start over. I don't keep my hand off the thing. Um, Mike, y'all not going to hear me. I have to remember that. But anyway. Yep, so that's about basically what's going on. I'm still decluttering. I'm still organizing. I'm still prepping. I'm still stocking up on, you know, this and that. Nothing major because y'all already see what I have major. And uh, I have I slowed down? Yes, but <laughs> it don't look like it. Oh, what I got me a, a lazy Susan because I ordered this little cart thing that's going to help me tremendously in the kitchen, even though it's going to take up some room, but it's going to help me get some of this on the, off the floor. And I can put my little Lazy Susan on there. I've been wanting a Lazy Susan forever. I, I can reminisce about Lazy Susan back in the day when I was younger. I love a Lazy Susan. But anyway, I got that from Amazon too. I'll show y'all that soon. I can't wait for my cart to get here. I probably need to give me another one. And I yes, I had some delivery blues. I don't even want to mention this company name. But I'm done with that company. I can't stand that company. I think they, well, I, I, I think I'm blackballed. I, I said it. I said it. And I don't, <laughs> let me leave it alone. Let me leave it alone. But anyway, I'm good with my other company. I'm getting what I need. Shoot, I'm waiting on my couple of outfits I ordered. Where I ordered me some outfits from Target. I told my daughter, I said, I'm waiting on my nice outfit and then I'm ready to go on the trail. Might be a little bit too hot for what I'm talking about because out here in Cali, we having a lot of warm weather. It's so warm right now. I had the fan stayed on all night and the window open. Most of the time, I had to close the window and turn the fan off. But shoot, the last two nights, it's, it's hot right now. I don't know what the heck going on. Fall is burning up. It's summer out here, you guys. It's summer in Southern California. It's no, it's nothing fall about this weather out here. I'm trying to tell you, but anyway, I guess I got to go rest. This weather been putting me to sleep too. I've been dozing. After I answered all y'all questions, I told my husband, I said I got to go rest, and. Uh, I got off my ass and put and get back and got back on my ass to go lay down. <laughs> but anyway, I enjoy answering you guys' questions. I feel like a fabulous writer when I do. <laughs> That's why I don't have no problem. I don't have no problem answering y'all questions, y'all comments, responding to your comments. I think I'm just this fabulous writer and I'm creating a story. All I need now is a better storyline because <laughs> I'm saying the same thing and I'm tired of telling you guys the same thing I need to come up with something new and don't worry it'll happen soon I love you all spirit boosters I love you guys so much you guys are fabulous and you're sharing love give me love this is something that you can't buy I've been waiting so long for people like you guys to come on my channel I don't know God bless me you know what they said, God, you know, what you need might not come on time, but, um, shoot, just keep waiting. I was thinking about something, just keep on waiting. He gonna come. Eventually, he'll come. Not when you want him to come. He know what he doing. Or her. Or the spirit, exactly, knows when t what time you need to be delivered from something. Or when you got to go home that's what he does it so don't worry and um if i get monetized don't y'all this took if i do ever get monetized it took me a long time i'm not i've been on here let me see four years four years um creating content but i guess 14 years knowing of youtube because when i first came on here 10 years 
it, I didn't even know they were paying folks crazy. And then folks, like I said, black folks, <laughs> they won't help you. <laughs> I go say all of them. But a lot of folks, when you need help on YouTube, you can't depend on a lot of people. I don't know if they just don't know or they just don't give a damn and they don't want to help you. But if y'all ever need some help about something on about YouTube and if I know, you can count on me. I will share because y'all have probably seen in my comments. I just say what I feel because it's the truth. It's facts. I'm sharing the truth. So whatever I know, I'll share with you. If you want to know some of you, if I don't know, then I'll tell you what you're supposed to do to, to try to know because they got a feedback thing on here. You know, if you have some problem, you get in touch with them. But other than that, some of these folks are here, you ask them questions, they just like, they got, they got, I don't know, they amnesia worse than mine. I think they got Alzheimer's. And that other thing, I can't think of that other thing. That, man, this is a hot mess. I don't even want to get started. But now, it's good. It's cool. It's cool. Because, like I say, I love responding to y'all comments. And I love you guys sharing your going zones and what's happening in your area. Doing the supply chain issues while you prepping while you're stocking because i don't know how long we're gonna do this we'll have a fabulous time in this community okay you guys so you want to vent you want to share something remember just go at it you know don't insult nobody but you know you can be a little huff and puff but you know it's just all about you <laughs> don't come down on nobody especially the host me <laughs> okay because you know trolls gonna be lurking but don't worry they won't come on because some of them try to be slick and say stuff but it might be some trolls on my on my page acting like they sweetie pies but hey as long as you acting like you a sweetie pie you only fooling yourself because you blessing you blessing me and the, and, the, and, the, and the people in the community because you saying some sweet sweetie pie but I'm going to get out here because I think I'm done for the day. And I shared with y'all my little six plastic containers organized to organize my little refrigerator. I wonder how long I'm going to keep it that way. But I hopefully I'll try and keep it that way. Because one spirit booster was saying as soon as she cleaned up, that stuff is all jacked up again. Especially if you got children. But um, my children grown and gone. And they so let me know. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to see how long this going to work. The only thing is the leftovers. But hopefully nowadays we won't have that many leftovers. I showed y'all my crescent rolls and some chicken earlier. Those, those, it was a, not crescent rolls, croissants. Those came from Fufless and they finally got it right. They're buttery. Oh, those things so good. I ate two of those things. I know the, the weight. Oh my God. I don't even want to. Oh. I don't even want to look at the calories because I ate two of them. They were so good. They just melted me on my mouth. We had the chicken and the fries. We're not having fish tomorrow because I told my husband, I said we had two days of fried food. We don't need no, any more fried food. But anyway, I got to get off here because I get the rattling on off, the rattling on off at the mouth. And uh, y'all got about to fall asleep. But anyway, hope y'all continue to do what you're doing take heed to the warning signs <laughs> take heed to them shouting at you every day saying prepare get ready bye 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 now 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 shop now shop early so you won't be left out or be without that's the tip of the day get your ass to the store stock the hell up like the most of these folks are saying stock it to the Stack it to the rafters. That's pretty high, huh? <laughs> Not all that, though. I'm out of here.